We know that Donald Trump has lost a step. His brain is the consistency of tapioca pudding. But I think that he should be able to understand, even at this point, what a gag order is. He certainly truths enough about how he's been gagged. And yet, he doesn't seem to understand what the limits of it are. Because he posted on True Social this, a message from Michael Avenatti talking about the First Amendment and how he doesn't think it's fair that Stormy Daniels or Michael Cohen can talk about Trump, but Trump is gagged. So Trump retruthed that and said, thank you for revealing the truth about two sleaze bags who have with their lies and misrepresentations cost our country dearly. Now, both Cohen and Daniels are expected to be witnesses in this trial. I would be shocked if they were not. His gag order is specific that he is not allowed to attack a variety of different people involved in the trial. But the witnesses are very much on that list. And so the question is, is this an attack? Well, he called them sleaze bags and liars who misrepresent things. If that is not an attack on their credibility, trying to predispose the jury or you know random people against them, I don't know exactly what would be. So he seems to be pretty flagrantly breaking that gag order, which again, it was originally passed in March, revised on April 1st. He has had more than enough time to understand what the bounds of it actually are. Now, it was not specific about what sort of attacks would run afoul of it. But again, if this doesn't, I don't know what would other than him literally saying, I want someone to shoot them. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. So we'll, we'll have to see, I don't know. Uh, Michael Cohen certainly thinks that it's a violation. Now, look, obviously he has sort of a dog in this in this fight, but he says he will say whatever he wants. He violates the gag order, and like a petulant child, there appear to be no repercussion. He legitimately just posted something calling me a sleaze bag, and of course he attacked Stormy Daniels as well. It's called witness intimidation and obstruction of justice. I don't know if it's actually either of those things, maybe the witness intimidation, but it's certainly a violation of the gag order, at least to me. I'm not a lawyer. Again, like Alina Haba, I don't understand the law particularly well, but it seems to me a lay person to be a violation. Brett, what do you think? Oh, I don't care. I think this is wildly entertaining though. I don't think we need to be the people in this scenario who say whether this aspect is fair or not. This is silly. This is hoo-ha fun fun town. Uh, I don't really <laughs> think that whether Trump is, is out there decrying and impugning the integrity of people and, and like wanting Avenatti's opinion to be the one that stands, especially because Avenatti himself is in jail right now. Yeah, and Cohen like, had been, of course. There's a and lot of jail to go around. And, and, and Stormy Daniels is out there. I'm, I guess she's the only one that comes out like a winner in this scenario. Mm -hmm. I think it's weird that they can go out and do things. If your idea uh, or surround, if, if the justification is that you shouldn't be poisoning the well of potential jurors with getting things out there uh, into the into the ether, so to, or into the, the national discourse, that make one person or another involved in the trial seem stupid or terrible. I, I, I understand your instinct, Michael Avenatti and Donald Trump to say that's unfair, but it's the law, them's the breaks. I'm for law and order. And yeah. I love to see a bunch of garbage people piling on each other like this. It makes me very happy. 100% and I, it is so important to him to not be gagged. Like most people don't spend the months leading up to their trial viciously attacking the people in the trial in public. Why yeah. is that so important to him? Either on First Amendment grounds, which again, the First Amendment is not absolute, then they don't think that it should be. But also as a legal strategy, why is this so important to you? No, if no, you no. want the jury to think that they're liars, present evidence to that effect. No, but well, Final the, specific, the, the specific answer to that is the kind of juror who's for Donald Trump already likes that he does this. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump's simultaneously running for president and he needs to seem strong. This is a campaign thing. But that's just one possibility within a subsection of my favorite conversation. My favorite conversation is, is this Donald Trump's strategy or can he just not help himself? Mm -hmm. And that applies to everything. Everybody says that Donald Trump is doing like the Nixonian. He's a crazy person. Don't mess with the United States. He's he's intentionally presenting himself as so mercurial. Is he? 
The billion dollar question is, is that a strategy or is it coincidentally yeah. an explanation for his behavior? Because he just is kind of a crackpot. Oh. I, I, so will, I will only say this. I don't have answers to all of your questions. I will say this. We are one day closer to the trial and it has not yet been delayed. Just get us to the trial. Do it, dudes. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?